Our next <laughs> guest is a hilarious comedian, actor, who we all know and love, and it's never a dull moment with him. Please welcome my comedy brother, Dion Cole. Hey. Dion! <laughs> What's up, baby? What's going on, y'all? Hi. Hey, now. Welcome back to the hey. show. OK, you recently got everyone talking, Dion, when you posted a beautiful picture on IG of what you consider a real woman's body with curves and everything. And you captioned it, this here, this, this is everything. How beautiful, how real, how happy this makes me. <laughs> so what prompted that post? Man, I was just posting what I liked. <laughs> okay. I didn't even know it was going to resonate like that. I just was like, hey, this is what I like. This is the real. I like dealing with the real. Like, the done up is cool, but I'm not a fan of the done up. I like that everyday, real life, you know. And, uh, yeah, I had no idea that it was going to resonate like that. This one woman hit me in my DM and DMs, and she was like, she was just about to get surgery until mm. I posted that. And wow. she was like, I'm not going to do it no more. She was like, she definitely said that. And I was like, wow. Like, I didn't even realize the magnitude of, of, of what I had done or whatever. But shout out to everybody out there to let you know, man, look, man, real people exist. We love you the way that you are mm. all day long. And be you. And man, I, we 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 love y'all women. We love it. Stay how you are, man. We we love it. Oh, that is that awesome. awesome. We need to hear more of that. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dion. Speaking of paying tribute, like so many others, you pay tribute to the late Bob Saget by remembering how he reached out to you after your mother passed away. I mean, everyone seems to have their own Bob story. How do you want people to remember him? Well. I met Bob through Tiffany Haddish, and the, the, the crazy thing about Bob was I never knew him. I would see him around at clubs, but I never, like, knew him. And this one day he came on the show, me and Tiffany would, was doing, and, man, we just jailed. And when my mother passed, my mother just died recently, and he, he found out about it, and he hit me up and was like, man, I know loss very well, and one day we need to get together so I could tell you how I'm dealing with it and all that. And I just thought that was the sweetest thing. And then after that, we started liking stuff on each other's pages and supporting each other and just being cool. Wow. And then I got that news and I was just like, whoa, like what? Wait a minute, we just, I just talked to him. We, we, we had plans to go out and hang wow. out. And I just, I couldn't believe it. Still, still couldn't believe it. So uh, yeah, man, I just want people to remember him as a thoughtful guy, man. A guy that was thoughtful and, you know, that 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 wanted to love as much as possible, man. That's that's exactly what he was about. You know what, Dion? It sounds like you just described yourself. Which, by the way, I wanted to tell you, you look really good. Yeah. You look like you're straight oh, off vacation. God, okay? got, oh, <laughs> oh, black man <laughs> blushing. Look at that. That's crazy. So this is <laughs> what it is. You're back on the road now, and it has been a long time since the pandemic. What's it like to be back on tour? Man, first of all, thank you for that. Miss Light, I appreciate you. I'm a fan. Oh, I just want to spit your <laughs> lyrics right now. But look, we just gonna go back to it. Um, yeah, it's so great being on the road right now, man. Being able to touch the people. When you're on a show, um, in any TV show, you're you're you you know you're exclusive to that show, so you only can do so much and so in in the amount of time that they give you. If you have the summers off or whatever, I would tour, and then that's it. Now. I'm able to just tour straight through, mm. see everybody. You know, I'm going to be in Chicago on the 16th, Indianapolis on the 15th. And you can go to Dionco.com and get all the tickets for all the shows that's coming up in, in surrounding areas all around the country. Man. So, well, yeah, you, it's, it's, it's great to be around the people and touch the people. Mm, yeah, I'll bet. Definitely. And, you know, your tour is called Coology. What kind of things are you going to have us laughing about? <laughs> man, Lonnie, you know me. You know my stand-up. I just talk about everyday things, man. Very s simplicity is how I do stand up. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, you ain't even gotta think. We gonna talk about how we thank God for parking spaces. We gonna talk <laughs> about how we thank God for middle seats when we on we the plane. Do. Like, that middle seat open, you be like, Shondo, thank you, Lord. Ain't nobody sitting next to me. That is oh, so true. Lord. You was a good guy. You know, like, we just gonna talk about simple things. Yeah, you know, yeah. we need that right, right now, yeah. too, Dion. We <laughs> definitely need that. That's really funny. Uh, Dion, did you pick up a new talent? Did I hear that you're DJing? But it started yeah. off as a joke because you were making fun of D Nice. How did it come no, off as a joke, and what's the real deal with that? I was that? trying to make fun of him, 
And, I, <laughs> and people was like, boo, <laughs> don't quit your day job. And I was like, it'd be funny if I really learned in this time that we have off in this pandemic, it'd be funny if I really learned how to do this. Mm. And I just kept doing it. And it went from don't quit your day job to, man, that was a nice blend. Mm. And, hey, what song is that? Okay. And, man, where'd you get that? And I never heard that. Okay. And, man, this is nice. And then I started rocking with other legendary DJs like Terry Hunter out of Chicago and Louis Vega in New York. Mm -hmm. And man, the rest is history. I've been rocking ever since, you know? Oh, wow. You're like an onion. Keep it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's talk about the final season of Blackish. I can't believe it's the final season. This week's episode has you marrying our friend Vivica A. Fox. Now, did you two have fun working together? I can only Ooh. imagine. The vet. Vivica is one of the realest, yeah. sweetest persons you ever gonna meet. I mean, after you get over your initial, oh my God, she was in Kill Bill and Independence Day, right? once that's gone, you're gonna see one of the realest people you ever gonna meet. Mm. She's gonna give it to you straight. When we was on the set, you know, if she messed up on something, she would instantly be like, oh man, I messed up. All right, let's do it again. Come on, let's go. It was a lot of energy, a lot of professionalism. I mean, I mean, this iconic Vivica A. Fox, man. I remember when I went to work, they was like, so you're going to be marrying Vivica A. Fox. I was like this, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if I must. <laughs> okay. You know, Dion, what are you going to miss most about Blackish? Man, I, I'm going to miss working with the guys in the office, man. Peter and Jeff, those are my brothers for life. Anthony, just going to work, man, because the camera should have been going on when 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 it was off. Oh, but man, the conversations we used to have every week, man, it was so great. I was surprised they don't have a show called Workish or Office, Office ish, <laughs> <laughs> because we were having a ball in that office, man. And and the stuff we was doing, we 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 were able to do stuff the family wouldn't be able to do. Mm. And so that's why it was so great to do that, man. And shout out to Jeff and Peter. I love those guys. Shout out to Anthony and Kenya Barris, man. Shout out to Kenya. There is yes. the minus. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's take a look at the clip of you in Blackish. Ooh, so no one's going to talk about babyface officiating this wedding? Shh. Like, we're just going to let that rock? Shut up. Thanks. Welcome, family, friends, tender lovers. Mm. Okay. So the bride and groom have chosen to write their own vows. Please. Vivica, I promise to love and obey and do anything that you want me to do, whatever it is. I don't care. I'm not proud. I would do it. You just ask, as long as you don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs> only you, Dion, only you. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. You are always so much fun. And you guys can catch the final season of Blackish Tuesday nights at 9, 8 central on ABC.